Oh, welcome back to Super Robot Wars Alpha Gaiden. Or Super Robot Tyson, however you want to say it. Uh, since this is a Japanese game that was English translated. Well, we're moving on to the next battle. We're ending the intermission. I like the little cover screens for each loading also. But at the start of each mission, there's a bunch of stories. So I'll shut up for now so you can read the story. Once again, I apologize, I can't get rid of the control looking stuff on the screen. It's the emulator I'm forced to use at this time. Since all my other emulators do not work right now until I fix my computer issues. You see those little boxes right there? Those are the treasure chests. You should always try to grab the treasure chests because sometimes you can get rare or really good items from it.
course the dogs have to grace themselves in the background. Now to pick up treasure chests, all you have to do is move on top of them and end your turn. This is one of my favorite robots on this game, Dayturn. Repair kits are the base healing item. People find strategy games like this boring. Mainly because of the repetitiveness of them, but I always liked strategy games. We'll get the more interesting battles, the more interesting robots as we progress in the game. So if you think it's boring now, just wait until we get to the better shit. And of course, this is one of the original Gundam Wing characters, Quattro, and his fucking Sandrock Gundam. Which he's actually a really good character in this game if you devote time and, uh, in, you know, his skill points and building him up. His only problem is his, sh the only problem is his shitty movement. But you can build up his movement with specialty items you can equip later. Main thing I like about him is he has one of the attacks that's infinite and it's ridiculously strong, which is one of the advantage of a lot of the Gundams. Because they have attacks that don't cost energy or fucking ammo. Which makes them really valuable characters if you use them right.
Daytarn is a badass tank guy. He sent, he sent Daytarn out into the middle of everything. Send Daytarn out into the middle of everything, and he'll just fucking. He'll take all the damage and weaken most of the enemies. He's a good tank guy. If you ever played uh, the PlayStation 2 uh, Robot Wars, then you'll know that using a tank guy is a good method of fucking sending out the crowd by sending them into the midst of it. As long as he survives, that is. Now in this fight, if you can kill Quattro and the gold Gundam, I think you get a good item. But he's really hard to kill because he has such high dodge rate, you pretty much want to use strike to do it. Even though later there's a fight where you don't want to attack them because they'll join you later. But it is okay to kill them in this fight.
course, he only has three turns to kill him, so it's a really hard objective. Because any of these time-based turn ones, normally there is a hidden objective. And now you can choose to counterattack, evade, or just defend. In some cases, you're best doing one or the other. We'll go ahead and risk a counter attack with this one. Since they have such a low hit rate, I have a high chance of evading anyway. Be a bit risky, but we're going to try to counter attack. Sometimes you gotta try risky moves. Of course, the key is to just try to destroy as many robots in the battle as possible so you get as much funds as possible. You'll need them later for all the upgrades. Ooh, he's gonna get hit no matter what I do, so we're just gonna fucking go for it. Still has a slight chance to dodge this attack. <laughs> and the dogs, of course, want to join in. I do like the planes in this game because they do have retarded dodge rate. But the problem is they have limited ammo and they're not very strong. Yeah, that's the only problem with the planes. Yeah, they have ridiculous dodge rate, but they're not very strong.
I think I fucked up by making Daytarn go that way because now he can't get into the actual battle. such a high dodge rate. Always guaranteed to hit, even if you have a high percentage. <laughs> and of course, some moves you can only use. Uh, some moves you can only use post move. Some moves you can cannot use unless you are fucking like say funnel. You can only use before you move. So like, once you move, funnel is useless to you. Even though funnels are best attack. So you gotta pay attention to what moves your robots have and position them accordingly, obviously. That's part of the strategy. Focus is trying to kill him because I think he had a good part from him. <laughs> but the fucking dodge rate is stupid in this game sometimes. Now nah, he's probably gonna hit me. Oh, at least I dodged. Uh, yeah, the Gundams all have the detonate skill, which <laughs> can be useful, but every time you use it, of course, you lose the Gundam. So, detonate can be helpful on some of the bosses that you can't harm. Like, I could have used detonate to kill that guy, because detonate always hits, but... It's a waste to use it unless you really need to. Yeah, we got one more turn to kill that uh, guy. Hopefully we can do it. If not, oh well, it's not anything important. But it'd be nice if I could try to get all the secrets. So 
So we're going to risk some of the robot's destruction to kill that guy because we only got one more turn to do it. Hey, Pira. Yeah, going underwater can raise your evasion rate so going underwater is a good idea a lot of the time but beam weapons do not work underwater so if you're going so if you're going to go underwater make sure you have a guy that uses actual ammo because beam weapons do not work underwater The only beam weapon that works underwater, I think, is Beam Saber. the critical hits. Now even though the enemy only has a 4% hit rate against me, there's still a chance that he'll hit. Because this game is kind of computer friendly. <coughs> I apologize for that. Oh, problem with this plane is he has such low HP one hit will pretty much destroy it. But since I said, like I said they have ridiculous dodge rate that sometimes it's worse putting them in a risky position. Even though planes are weak they're really good for cleaning up yard trash like those guys. That's why I always call them. Ooh, 31%. Even though I want to destroy it, I'm gonna fucking evade. Just because, like I said, one hit will probably kill this plane. And I'm trying to make the plane live. I 
やってる暇はない I got a supply vehicle in this fight. He probably won't make it to the actual combat. Still fucking cold here. Possible. That way you get the most fun. This is the last round, so this is the round where we gotta fucking go all out. Fucking Banjo only has guts. Now, he has the highest hit percentage with Daytar and Slash, so we're gonna try to finish him off even though he has a higher chance of finish or damaging me. But like I said, sometimes you gotta do something ridiculous. So hopefully Daytona can finish him off with a 60 something percent hit rate. Ah, good, he hit. Got rid of him. We need to find out which one is the boss guy. Now he's just a regular Titan. Good, the same. 
Yazin, he's the boss guy, so now we need to focus on Yazin. Okay. Now we need to try to kill Yazin, because killing the boss guys are the most important things to do in these battles. Because they can drop treasures and they're worth a shitload more XP. So I always try to kill all the boss guys. trying to decide who's the best for these attacks because I gotta kill that one guy and I gotta make sure that as many people survive as possible alright this is gonna be dangerous he's probably gonna get hit and die this is actually a dangerous thing to do that I'm doing right now Unless I score a critical, he may die. But then my last turns, I want to kill the name. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Got lucky. See, sometimes they gotta do something risky. That time the risk paid out. This should finish that guy. It's 91% hit rate, but he can still dodge. People. Alright, now we killed all the names, so now we just gotta get as many of the other enemies for the funds as we can. Ah, good, Jobin Armor. That's one of the first items that's actually really valuable to me. Well, we may be able to kill all the fucking in it. Nah, we won't have time to kill them all. Unfortunately. But we got all the names, that's what matters.
I uh, apologize, the video got kind of cut off there for a moment. Uh, right there in the middle of a fucking attack, but... Uh, maybe I can splice this video in with the other and make it a full video. That kind of pisses me off. In fact, that really pisses me off. But... There's got to be a way to splice something in to fix it. Uh, I don't want this whole battle to be a lost footage battle. Maybe I can fix it in post. I'm sure there's a way. But what's my video equipment? That irritates the piss out of me that that happened. Yeah, we're using overhang cannon just for the fuck of it. Should've used luck. Anyway, this battle's gonna end on the next turn. <coughs> okay, can't counter. But we don't want him to die, so we're just going to defend. Missiles. Well, I didn't get to destroy any of those big base guys. Too bad. They'd be worth a lot of funds at this point. mastery point because I think you have to kill every enemy but I put Daytarn in the wrong spot for that so I screwed up with that placement but sometimes you gotta remember what's happening and sometimes you just gotta plan ahead and I did a poor planning on that one 
But we killed the names and we got the choking armor, so we still did good. Like I said, those hidden objectives, it doesn't really tell you what they are in this version. So you pretty much just have to play the battles and hope you achieved the hidden objective to get the skill point. But I still don't know what the skill points of mastery do in this game, because I've beaten this game before. And I never figure out what the fuck they do. I don't even think there's a new game plus on this one. might be but if there is I've never figured out how to do it this part of the review here like I said I'm gonna try to at least accomplish a single battle every part now this part may seem a little bit strange because the video got spliced in half somehow and I'm gonna try to repair it so um, if you watch this video it might be kind of corrupt seeming but that's because I'm going to try to fix where my video got pretty much cut in half by an error. And hopefully I can splice it to make it look like one full video. If not, then I'll have to break it into two short videos. So I apologize for that. I had no control over it. But anyway, if you like my videos, please subscribe. And we'll start getting to some of the more interesting robots like Dayton uh, here in the next couple battles. So I'm going to sign out now. Y'all have a good night.